Michael Collins, one of the greatest Irish revolutionary leaders of all time, who was a minister for finance, a member of parliament in the first Dáil in 1919, a director of intelligence for the Southern IRA, a member of the delegation of the Anglo-Irish Treaty, a chairman of the provisional government and commander of chief the National Army, and also president of the Irish Republican Brotherhood. He was shot down and killed during 1922 in the Civil War at 31 years old. Michael Collins in his short period of life gained an unbelievable reputation for being a skilled organizer and general and it was also portrayed by Liam Neeson in an unbelievable Hollywood movie called Michael Collins. But did you know a very interesting fact about Michael Collins and his father? Michael Collins was born in 1890 to a father that was almost 75 years old. Oh yes. Michael John Collins, Michael's father, married Mary Ann O'Brien in 1876 and he had Michael Collins as his youngest son in 1890. Mary Ann O'Brien was only 23 when she married Michael John Collins Sr. He was 60 or 61 years old when he married Mary Ann O'Brien. Reports, documents, manuscripts, and the descendants of Michael Collins all talk about the special relationship that he had with his father. When Michael John Collins died, when Michael Jr. was six years old, he said on his deathbed, Michael is a very special boy. He is going to do great things for Ireland. But he also said about Helena, his daughter, he predicted that she would be a nun and that came true as well. There is something beautiful, refreshing and amazing about that story. A little boy and his father, who was 70 years older than him, out in the fields of Clannacilty, talking about freedom, talking about Ireland, talking about being a hero. Michael Collins lived not even to half of the life that his father lived in years. But what he achieved in those 31 years was an unbelievable achievement. Of course, there was people that died in the process. It was a war after all, a war of independence, a civil war, a war against colonialism. But in reality, the point here is that be not quick to judge, be not quick to get your life on track to the modern society, be not on a clock. 